Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Ethereum. I'll cover wave analysis with the Litwave theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. On over, overall, uh, let's take a look at this structure first here. So in very high time frame, this is two day time frame, we are most likely having this as a primary, oh sorry, a cycle one, two. Uh, we did get a really big retracement here around 90 something percent for the way two and after that we have some more uh, possibilities in this section here i have labeled this and modified this a bit uh, since the last video but i'm thinking this as a possible one too this is still a possibility to have a way three here but it's getting unlikely um, as long as this is getting this kind of a retracement we have already come down over 70 percent from the wave three tops and over around 80% uh, since the all time highs. Um, so it is making this way fall less likely in validation point around here at 360 something dollars uh, when the price gets back to the wave one area here. So that is one scenario. Other one that I'm tracking and I kind of like is this one where we have another one, two, three, four, and five. The wave four is really short though, so that is a bit weird looking overall, but again, um, this is possible. At this point, it would be better looking with this 80% uh, retracement as a wave two and not the wave four. So that is why I prefer this one at the moment. Now, overall, if we are still looking into the possibility of this being a wave three up here, uh, we, can, we can think about the structure that we have here coming down. I've labeled this as an A, B and C coming down and let's take a look at the possibility of this being a, a uh, impulse wave structure. Let's get into wave or eight hour time frame, see what we can find. Again, still having this as one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four and five into the third, fourth and fifth. This would create a uh, truncated fifth, which is one of the reasons that I don't really like about this count. Um, so again, this would be where we have the three here. I'm not really a fan of this. It is possible to have the wave one of uh, minutes here down where this third of minuet is here. So we would have this as a one and this would be two, three, four, five in minute. But again, at that point, we would be looking even longer time frame going down and uh, larger degree correction. But again, as we see currently, even with this structure here, um, we could be looking at very extended wave five if we want to label it like this. Uh, the sub substructure here for the wave three is really bad looking <laughs> overall, um, as we have these wicks here and not really good looking wave structures inside any of these. So this makes this even less likely. Um, then we have the other scenario where we had previously thinking of this as a possibility for being a contracting diagonal. Now that is no longer the case as wave three here is larger than wave one. Uh, that means that wave four would need to be larger than wave four or wave two, sorry. Um, so we can still be looking at some kind of a diagonal here, but at that point we would be looking for a wave four here and wave five again. At this point, we would be creating an expanding diagonal um, in case wave four gets beyond the length of wave two. Again, this would be really bad overall um, as people most likely are taking some longs here. And if they are seeing that the price keeps going up, they are FOMOing in and right around somewhere here um, with these resistances where we have somewhat some volume as well on these highs and even these lows, I would be seeing this as a possible bounce area and the price would start going down. Um, and then again, creating new lows here. That would be a really bad situation for retailers who don't, look, who don't know Elliott Wave and the possibilities overall. Then let's check out other options. Um, also it is possible that this is a WXY um, yeah, it is possible. 
At that point, we would be looking this structure as a three wave instead of a five wave structure. So he here it is the possibilities. Um, in here, we would look at this as a possible three wave structure or a five wave. I covered the wave fi or five wave structure before. So um, to get this into a three wave structure, even it is, it is hard. We almost would like or would have to say that we have some kind of three waves up here than something like this. But again, I'm not going to be labeling this uh, at all. Um, whatever this is, it is finished. According to this count, we could be looking at this as a five wave or the three wave WXY. Um, what matters the most is this structure here and how it ends. Uh, for this count, we would be looking at, at least for the ABC count, five waves in this last leg. And we do have a quite good looking structure in here. Um, a one, two, three, four, and five. Looking for the last leg here for the wave five, and this would end the whole correction. Um, the other scenario would be that we would have this as some kind of a A, B, and C, creating three waves, and then we would have this as an A, B, and then looking for another five waves coming down. At that point again, we would be looking at this as a one, two, three, four, five, so five waves in here. Basically the same scenario that we're currently looking for the uh, possibility of having this five wave um, set up for the ABC. So yeah, that is basically it. Um, let's get into this last structure as it is the, the most important at the moment is defining both of these counts and it is saying that we are going to be ending soon. Um, the one-to-one -one extension of this whole move on arithmetic scale, either WXY or ABC is coming right here, around the $830 or $873. And I think we just tagged that extension already here. But let's look into this uh, smaller time frame here. Uh, so it is this one. So again, we have either the AB um, count here, like so, or we have this where we have the three and four and looking for one more leg down. Either of them are working and uh, both are saying again, five ways downwards. On this one, I've labeled this as a one, two, another one, two here. Then three, again, some, um, smaller time frame structures here, one, two, three, four, and five into the third of micro here. Then we would be looking at some kind of flat pattern here into the four, has uh, alteration to the uh, structure here that we had on wave two, and then five waves down here into the fifth. At this point, we would be creating the uh, third of sub minuet, and then looking for fourth of sub minuet. Now the uh, wave two here took quite a long time. Um, so we could be looking at some kind of a combination wave structure here for the wave four. Uh, let's see, basic maybe. Let's zoom in here. I've labeled this currently as a possible ABC structure as we did with Bitcoin. Um, it is possible that it is already ended here, but it did not reach the minimum target that I had here around $1,124 for the wave four. Um, there's also this target of previous wave four of this micro count, that is one of the targets. And we did basically hit right on the minimum minimum area here for it. Uh, for this ABC, however, we did get to the one-to-one -one extension here uh, for the C wave of the A wave. And from here, I don't think this is finished just by looking at the structures. Um, we don't did not even get close to the 33% um, compared to the wave two here in time. Um, let's take a look at the uh, time it took to create the wave three as well. And we are so far off. So yeah, to me, my bias for ETH is still that we would be creating this as the first leg, then some kind of some kind of leg downwards and then another leg up. Um, and that is my my bias at the moment, just because of the time sentiment or time time uh, analysis here. 
But yeah, that is pretty much everything I wanted to share today on ETH. If you have other accounts you would like to share, there's a link to my Discord server in the description below. Um, if you would like me to cover other assets or have an update for a certain asset, let me know in the comments below. But for now, I thank you for watching and hopefully you have an amazing rest of your day. See you on the next video. Bye bye.